Welcome everyone, one and all, to my reaction to Season 3, Episode 1 of Young Royals. My god, we are finally here. It's that very complicated feeling of being so excited, but also so sad at the same time, you know? Like, I really, really can't wait to see what they've done with Season 3. I've heard so many good things online. Like, the way that it's been portrayed sounds as though this is going to be a very deep exploration of the characters, and it's going to be quite sad, but I know they're going to do a fantastic job at portraying it. But also, obviously, what comes with excitement for a final season also comes with the sadness that it is the final season. But you know what? It's been such a fantastic run so far. And with how they've bigged up season three, I'm sure it's going to be as fantastic as the rest. So this is going to be a great piece of media to return to in the future, you know? Like, if you want to rewatch a show, to know that the three seasons were, like, immaculate, you don't get that very often. A lot of the time, they're dragged on too long. So I just hope and pray that season three does it justice, you know? But anyway, last season, obviously, we ended with the huge bombshell of Wilhelm revealing his relationship with Simon to the world. And not just that... But owning up to the fact that it was him that was in the video that they tried so hard to cover up. So, yikes. It's like a part of me is very excited to see them explore their relationship more openly. But then there are two big hitters here, which are first, the media. How the media are going to handle it and also how the media are going to treat them. Because that is a huge thing when it comes to having a public relationship as such a like high class individual. But then also... The second one is the royal family themselves. How are they going to treat Wilhelm and Simon's relationship? Like, how are they going to handle it? Are they going to be quite negative about it because of how it came out and how it went against their wishes? But I don't know. I just... It's like a part of me hopes that this is going to be like a really nice, happy season. But then from what I heard a while back when they were talking about it, the cast, it seems as though that's not the case. It seems as though this is going to be a painful experience, but one that I can't say I'm not excited for, you know. But yes, with that said, though, very excited to get into it and just see how everything plays out. So without further ado, let's go. Also, if any of you are a little bit confused as to why my room looks like a wreck, I moved a couple of weeks ago and I basically have not fully settled in yet. <laughs> I haven't actually set everything up yet. This contraption is currently holding up my like faux blinds, keeping the light out. Yesterday, my actual blinds did arrive, but we haven't actually had the chance to put them up yet, but it will be done soon. I promise. By episode two. Yeah, that's my mission. By episode two, you will see this office looking perfect. But yes, with that said, let's jump in. Ugh. I'm so excited! With their counselor and August with his lawyer. Oh, for God's sake, what is this about to be? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, she didn't even look at him. Okay, girly. As a shock to everyone, I don't think she's winning Mother of the Year award again. <laughs> Pills. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't mind me, I'm Looking at the camera. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That little look that they shared. Likväl så skulle en rättegång avsevärt förvärra den nuvarande mediala situationen. So they're trying to avoid a trial, okay. Ja, vi har ritat upp ett förslag på ersättning till de båda målsägande. Compensation, I think August doesn't have anything to give. <laughs> att visa någon som kysser en av samma kön att vara gay. Är inte något som är ägnat att utsätta någon för missaktning. Right, listen, you cheeky little bastard. If you try and play that angle, you have to think about the fact that this is a royal institution and there are definitely, definitely people out there who would consider that to be a bad thing. They would be like, oh god, he's gay? What do you mean? We don't want a crown prince who's gay. Like, come on, are you that fucking naive? Do you think that the whole world's like, oh, it doesn't matter anymore. Everything's fine. Like, shut up. I get that it's his job to try and make it look as though it's not as bad as it is, but shut up. Hunt for sock to foster a dera sleeve. Of the princess tal com nordis mostans rollen seth i bjarstad of brand the pride flagor. Oh my god. I mean, she's got a huge point, but my god, people burning pride flags? Setting threats to their home? So let them sit or tit up me as much of one of the piss manica. I mean, you're not just okay. a piss person, oh, you're a bloody arsehole. There are far worse words I could call you, but I'd rather not right now. 
Mm. If you love the monarchy, you wouldn't have done what you did. So shut up. This man, I get like irrational anger <laughs> when I look at his face. 1.2 million crowns. Right, time to do the conversion rate, guys, because I need to understand the significance of that. About 91 and a half grand. Is that to both of them? Or just to Simon? Because if you think about the fact that this is probably a way to pay for like a security system or something for his family, like some way to make them feel more secure in an environment that has obviously become very hostile with the media and everything. So if that's all that they're gonna get, then yikes. But does he even have that to give? Like he's bloody broke. Oh, no. If they try and dig stuff up, then we need it to be over. Yep, exactly. Oh, actually, to be fair then, if you know that he's getting like a heavy punishment, then get fucked. Stop. No, stop. I'm not ready. Hey. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I resisted watching season two because I wanted it to feel like it's been a while. It's so nice to see them again. Jag kan, um, visa dig. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Look at the beetle fly. <laughs> True, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I hope this season doesn't hurt them because if it hurts them, it hurts me. But we all know the pain is coming. <laughs> no. I knew he was going to say something like that. <laughs> Someone wipe the smile off your face. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, absolutely. I hold it all in me at the victory that we learn our young that they don't uncommer lagen. Okay, right. Simon's mom, I love you. You've been amazing. And in normal circumstances, I would 1000% agree with you because actually go fuck yourself, August. And I agree that like, if we're talking about this ethically and everything, he deserves far worse than what he's currently getting. But we know what Simon has done. We know that the stuff with the drugs would be so damaging to his life. So at this point, it's like, come on, we, we gotta just end it. We got to let it be done so that nothing comes out in the future. I hope he's able to change his mum's mind. August här tänker jag säga att inte anmäla Simon för att ha sålt sin pappas medicin till elever på Hilderska. Shit. Eller kronprinsen för det faktum att hans höghet hotade August till livet med gevär. Oh shit. Oh no. Behöver vi en försäkring från kungahuset? Att August får en officiell titel som näst i tronföljden efter kronprinsen. Titta på mig! Om du tror att jag kommer låta dig ta över så kan du glömma det. Oh my god. Med ditt track record så kommer du nog lyckas fucka upp allt helt på egen hand. Ja, oh, det är jag uh -huh. som fuckar. Det är inte jag som är känd för att slå folk på käften. Ah, du... Oh, shut up. I hate him. Fucking hell. Sorry, we need to pause there before we see this interaction because I know she's gonna be a little bit upset, which I understand. But, um, Jesus Christ. To try and turn it all around on him, and you're gonna sit there and say that you're not a piss person? Fuck off. You know you're a horrible person deep down, let's be real. I'm all for saying that no one is born evil, no one is born good, it's just the actions that you do. You always have the potential to be a better person and everything, but with everything that August has done so far, he is, in my eyes at least, irredeemable. I would not ever, if I was Wilhelm, my god. I would never forgive him and I wouldn't even look him in the eye anymore. And then I myself, this is a TV show and I myself wouldn't want to look at him in the eye. Like he is a horrible human being. Let's just be bloody clear about that. So to try and turn it around and say that his problem started before August got there. Yeah, he was having problems, but more so to do with just the stress of his position and the fact that it was so much to put on his shoulders along with the fact that he knew that if he were to pursue a relationship that he actually wanted to, that it would be so groundbreaking and so problematic for the system of the royal family that that was adding even more stress on his shoulders. So don't come around and say that he'll fuck it up on his own. Little shit. Now I've scribbled under, and 
Det hela måste vara överspelat nu. Vi får lägga det bakom oss. Ja, man, man, I mean, men, easy said than done. Jag kräver inte att du ska förlåta August. Good, thank you. Men vi kan inte ha såna här skandaler mer. Speciellt inte mellan er. Vad tror du att Erik skulle ha sagt om han hade sett er bete er så här? Oh, don't throw that. What would Eric have thought when he found out that someone did that to his little brother? Erik you know? hade aldrig förlåtit honom. Exactly. Don't try and bring that up, girly. <coughs> It's like part of me understands where she's coming from. Part of me understands that like she's the queen. She's trying to find an amicable way to get this settled so that we could have peace and everything and not have another scandal. But at the end of the day, if this is your son and you're expecting him to just let things go, and even if he doesn't forgive or like him to be amicable, that's even asking too much. And then to bring up your other son as a way to try and manipulate him into behaving correctly in your eyes, that's pretty shitty, love. I'm gonna be honest. I'm all for them to just accepting that like they're never gonna get on and if there are any public events that they're both at to just avoid each other or if they're near each other, just like walk past each other and don't say anything or all that. Cause I don't care if the media is gonna pick up on it and be like, oh look, they didn't shake hands again. I don't give a shit. Just let it go, you know? Just accept that neither of you like each other and just act as though the other one doesn't exist. Du fyller snart 17 år och inom ett år så ska du kunna ta över efter mig. That quickly? Förstår ni det? Alltså det här är ingen lek. It's not a game, I know. Både jag och Wilhelm kommer att sköta oss. Mm. Om inte annat för Erik. Mm. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh shit. Erik. <laughs> is she having like a mental breakdown? Like what is this? I know she's ill, but this seems more so like... She's just breaking down. <laughs> Screw this country. <laughs> but honestly, I'm, I'm really worried about her. Yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> Sorry, that just took me out a bit. Jag men alltså förlåt men jag sa det var en snake så get over it already. Det inte att hon har blivit dumpad det hade varit lite en annan grej. I mean, to be fair, love, if that's how you feel, then you really don't have a deep friendship with her at all, do you? <laughs> like, have you never been in a situation where you've had, like, a really close friend that you've lost? That shit is terrible. You think about the fact that a friend is for life, basically. Like, if you think about it, there are so many boyfriends and girlfriends, so many relationships that you go through that don't work out. You could start dating someone in two months, they're gone. But a lot of friendships, a lot of those deep, personal, best friend friendships you're expecting that to be for life so it can be even fucking worse you know oh my god you're you're really bad <laughs> you're really bad at talking to someone i'm not gonna lie <laughs> oh look she's smiling Hell yeah. Det är liksom första gången som vi ser honom sen jubileet. Alltså han, hur ska liksom han och Simon typ, vad ska de göra för att, är de tillsammans nu? Alltså på riktigt. That's the biggest question we have. I think it's going to be new terrain for them both. It's going to be a very strange experience to actually be able to be with each other out in the open. But a lot of the times in those situations you still don't feel comfortable being that way. You know? Vi ser bara... En potentiell risk i det här. Being distracted. Att Simon inte förstår att allt han gör från och med nu faller tillbaka på dig. Interesting. Han får inte under några omständigheter prata med journalister. Simon kommer inte prata med journalister. Behöver... To be fair, sorry, before we continue this, to be fair, I think that is a very fair thing. I'm rarely on the side of the royalists in this show because they just piss me off all the time with how they've handled their whole relationship. But that is a fair ask. I mean... It's the same idea of when someone gets married to someone famous. You're not just going to go to an interview and start airing all your dirty laundry, you know? Like, that's just not done. They have, like, a public image that is an important part of who they are and all that. So I do understand that. So long as they're not, like, trying to restrict how much they see each other, I'm interested to see how the royal family is going to work in this regard, you know? Kissa i den här. Oh no. Jag vill bara vara säker och du har utgångsförbud. Resten är terminen. Shit. No te quiero afuera ni un minuto. Det här är jätteorättvist. Is it like I feel like any parent would have acted this way? Como voy a saber esto, Simon? Como? 
Aparentemente no hacen nada. Ustedes yeah. no me dicen nada de lo que está pasando en esta casa. Sorry to pause so quickly after I just paused, but like she has a fair point. I think any parent would have this reaction, especially someone who has been in a relationship with said person who was abusing the drugs. It's understandable why she would have this fear for her children. It all comes from fear. There's definitely an element of anger to do with the fact that there was a breaking of trust between between them. But yeah, I, I'm kind of on her side here. But one thing I'm very curious about is Sada. Like, what's happening with her? Has she been kicked out of school and everything? Is there no way for her to go back? Like, I, I want to see her development this season. That's like a big one for me. Yeah, she's definitely not going back then, bless her. Oh, look at her. I know she did wrong. I do. You know, you grow to really like a character and then they do something shitty. It's so hard to be like, ugh. Yeah. But where can she go? I do get his reaction. I do. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, even though you try and do the right thing, you've already done the wrong thing in the first place. So just doing the right thing isn't going to erase all of that. Oh, he's going to be talk of the town for a while. Aww. Oh, I like the way that they made everything so quiet. I don't like the fact that everyone is staring at them, though. To be fair, though, they are kissing in the middle of <laughs> a common area. <laughs> <laughs> the girl sitting at the table like, oh my god. <laughs> You're going to have them staring oh, for the rest of your life, actually, unfortunately. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> I know, I know. Men. You can come home to me instead. I mean, will she be okay with that if you're grounded? <laughs> Listen, guys, I get that it's all like, would you do that for me? But come on now. If you, if you try and leave, it'll be another semester. Oh, the anger that would be going through my veins. Sorry guys, it's been it's been echoing in my head this whole time. I need to know how long a semester is because we don't really use that word in the UK. A half year term. Okay. So does that mean that it is six months then? Six months time. Typically lasting lasting fifteen to eighteen weeks. Well, that's closer to like four months, isn't it? But I suppose if you count the holidays in then that would be half of the school year. So yeah, that makes sense then. Okay, the we must do are they also that they're in Hillishka for life for Armen. So a selfie box at the police bill. Take a selfie in a police car. Sex and love. Oh my god, this is a ridiculous amount of things. Two best is all the yeah, fuck boy move also. Shift. Uh huh. Makes you even worse of a person than the other things you've done. Prata inte med sådär. Okay. Okay. Let's go you ba. I swear to God, if we continue the romance between August and Sada, I will be done. <laughs> nope. It must suck to lose, like, a school of your dreams, basically, you know. Hello. Hey. Hey. You're doing good. How are you? Yes. Or, so, could you give it to Sara? I didn't know exactly what I should do more than so. How is she? How is it with her? Yeah. Also, it's so crazy, so I'm really... I'm so jävla angry at her. But you really want to talk to her. But on some weird jävla vänster so saknar det samtidigt. I get that. It's a loss. It's a huge loss in your life. Tycker det är förnedrande att sakna någon som har fuckat en så jävla hårt. Men det är förnedrande. I disagree to be honest. I understand what they're saying when it comes to feeling degrading when you're missing someone who fucked you over so much, but I disagree. I think that it is very human to miss that relationship. It is so human to Focus so much on the negatives at the start. Focus so much on the things that are hurting you. And that is where you have that breakdown. But the second that they are out of your life and you actually have to process the fact that, oh my God, I've lost that person. I've lost that relationship. I've lost that connection. I've lost the person that I talked about X, Y, Z with. That's where it truly starts hitting you 
how much of an important role they played in your life and i don't think it's ever degrading to miss that it might be degrading to go back to them and just say oh no all is forgiven that would be a point where i'm like okay you need to big up your self-worth <laughs> you can go back to someone don't get me wrong it depends on the situation depends on your own personal opinion but at that point you need to have like a huge fucking conversation over boundaries over what they did wrong over acceptance over what they've done wrong you know and after that you can then decide if you want to continue things but i would never say that it's degrading to miss someone can you go away can you like actually leave him alone please? Marcus själv. Han sa i alla fall att det verkade det var ganska problematiskt mellan dig och kronprinsen. Marcus spoke to the press? Wow. Okay. Fuck you. Så sent som i februari sågs kronprinsens pojkvän i sällskap med en annan ung man på Hillerskas årliga valen valentinbal. Ah shit. Det får en ju att undra hur seriöst det hela är, säger en källa nära familjen. Says a close so a source close to the family. What do you mean? Oh, problematic. Was that um Marcus then? Was Marcus the one who actually spoke to them and told them that? Nej, men det är inte kul att läsa att jag är en typisk latino lover som hoppar mellan pojkvänner eller att jag är en jag menar gold digger som förvirrar prinsen. Oh fuck off. That's such bullshit. Ja, jag fattar, men han har ju också en vana av att liksom göra saker lite så här. Jag vet inte. Han är väl lite impulsiv. I do get that point of view. I do. It it can come across that way to other people i take it more as though it may be impulsive but it's almost as if it like it has to be impulsive because he needs that moment of feeling brave to actually do it and he's not going to make up a false promise of like he would that's the problem he would make up a false promise because he thinks he's going to do it and he doesn't we've seen that before but i mean more so the fact that he wouldn't want to promise something that he doesn't know he's going to be able to commit to it takes that like push in the moment of like fuck this fuck that i'm gonna fucking do it you know and that's where this impulsiveness comes from so i do get it but ah it was always gonna be a problem i feel like no matter what there was always gonna be a problem when it came to you two revealing the truth about your relationship and everything you know it was never gonna be easy what was that it, it wasn't my intention i don't know if the subtitle said it i was trying to look but i couldn't see Aww. I assume if this is the timeline of events, he's still currently with his friends. That you read all the comments and reply says it all. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Nah, that's fucked up. Do you want the comments? They're not worth it. Yeah. I don't think I've done the same as you, but I thought it was modest. Intriguing. Vi pratar aldrig speciellt mycket om kärlek och relationer och så här. Men jag bara tänkte om du visste ifall han dejtade någon här. Interesting. Jag bara undrar hur fan han fucking hanterade allt. Jag önskar jag kunde fråga honom. I know. I'm so sorry. Jag vet ju att Erik träffar folk liksom. Men det var ingenting han gick ut med offentligt. Men det är väl det som är hela grejen att yeah. hålla det privata. Privat. But eventually it has to come out so... Det bästa är väl kanske att hålla sig till någon som är... Oh, Nej, piss off with that. Okay, oh, I hate all this elitism. It's so annoying. Stick to someone who's in your circle. Shut up. Sara. She snuck out. Oh, is she visiting her dad? That's where this is, isn't it? Okay, so I... No. Yeah, of course. Come in. I get that she's doing it based off of what he said to her, but listen, if this is a healthy environment for you, then okay. But if it's not, then please no. Jag tar och fixar i sovrummet åt dig. Det behövs inte. Jag tar soffan. Det är ändå bara tillfälligt. I mean, good first steps for rebuilding a relationship potentially with your daughter. Please, this is an intervention. Det vet jag. Men jag ska inte dax. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I know that some people might disagree with this, but stuff like this really pisses me off. <laughs> I'm going to be completely real. I'm the kind of person where I, I need to feel my emotions. I need to sit with my emotions. I need to think things through. And people coming in with stuff like this, I know they mean well. I really do. But it would piss me off. I need my time and my space. And you not respecting that 
would upset me, but I know they mean well. So I'm trying not to be a bit of a dick, but I'd be a bit angry. <laughs> you know, we'll start by cleaning your room. Yeah, hmm? get all the bad energy out. Uh, set some protection spell. Oh, Madison. <laughs> oh, Madison. <laughs> Sun tanning in New York? <laughs> Unless you're going to like a fake sun tan. <laughs> Bless. I liked that then. It, at least that was a... It's the same way that like everyone's different. That was what Felice needed. So good enough friends for recognizing that. I just know if it was me, I wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> The article came out today. It doesn't look good. Call me. Oh, no. Spies former students to speak out. Crude violations. Royal connections. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, to be fair, that's not really about him. It's about the school itself. Okay, that's disgusting. Kronprinsen talar om att gå emot gamla förlegade traditioner. Han inspirerade mig att våga prata om det som hände där. Okay, so it's nothing against Wilhelm, it's against the school. I know it puts him in like the social shit, but at least he's not in the shit for like the school itself. God morgon. Who are you? Jag heter Vanessa Hamilton och jag är tillförordnad rektor. Oh, of Annette Lilja har begärt tjänstledig tills dess att sanningshalten i de anklagelser som framkommit i media rätts ut. Oh god, she, <laughs> it says that she's taken a leave of absence. I'm pretty sure the school board would have been like, bitch, you let this stuff happen under your leadership. Get out. You need to be suspended for a while. I'm pretty sure that's what's happened here, but okay. Well, how will this change everything? That concerns me. Whenever we have like a mix up in like, what you call it um like leadership when it comes to schools and everything you never know how it's going to impact our characters so fingers crossed it's going to be good a schemalagd aktivitet upphör idag oh shit på enjakten är härmed inställd och så kommer mobiltelefoner om händer oss oh god för att råda ett utegångsförbud efter klockan 19 I get it when they're faced with these kind of things, but Jesus, this is going to ruin everyone and also have them pissed at Willa. <laughs> Interesting. That kind of throws a spanner in the works in my mind socially, the idea that if you are already considered an adult in society, that they would have this control over you. I mean... They definitely have the right to. It's their school grounds. They can do whatever they want. If you don't like it, you can just leave. But, yikes. I, uh, uh, this is gonna be really bad for Willa. People are gonna fucking hate him. We already know he doesn't deal with like anxiety and stress that well. So I'm not looking forward to this. Om vi inte kan uppvisa att Hillerska är en trygg miljö så kan vi få ett verksamhetsförbud. Yeah. Och vad innebär det då? The school's closed down. Hillerska kan tvingas stänga med omedelbar verkan. Yep. I don't know why you all thought that you were able to get away with all of this. You really thought that this, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is the thing. It's the like antithesis of these people. They think that because they have these social connections, they think that because they are in these high classes, that they are untouchable by the law. They are untouchable by the rules. You Have you ever thought a day in your life that all of these things that you do, all of these stupid, idiotic things, should never happen in a school <laughs> like have they never thought that through they genuinely think that they are untouchable and it is hilarious but yeah that was a fantastic first episode okay so we've got a lot of tension already built up in terms of personal tension obviously willa and um august big tension between those two we also have the tension between simon and sada sada has left home she has gone to live with her father which I wonder if that's going to cause tension with her mother and everything, considering everything that's happened in the past. We'll just have to see what happens next episode in that regard, to see what those um family issues are going to bring up, you know? But we also have the tension between Sada and Felice. Do I think that they'll be able to rekindle their friendship? Maybe. Maybe. We will have to see how Sada's character goes this season. That's the biggest thing. What does she do? Does she do something that will like help people forgive her or will she go down the route of 
getting back with August, meeting with him secretly, because if that's the case, then absolutely not, my darling, and you will lose me as well, because we've clearly seen that he still has feelings for her, and I don't like that they've set that up, you know? I don't like that they've put that into the air, because that gives me vibes that they will explore it, and I don't want that. But yeah, in terms of other tensions away from the personal stuff, obviously, there is a lot of issues going on in the palace right now. It seems as though the queen is not necessarily on her last legs, but she will soon, within a year, be unable to be the queen anymore. And he's going to have to take over. So that is a huge amount of stress to have on his shoulders. I mean, we don't have confirmation that he's going to have to take over in a year. It's probably an estimate based on her health. But considering how deteriorated she looks this season compared to the last, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in a year or even a little bit earlier that he has to take over. But um, yeah, also big drop at the end in terms of drama. They are going to be hating on Willa. The entire school is going to be pissed at him for what he did. Obviously, a sane and rational mind would be able to realize that the issue is not with Willa. The issue is with the institution itself and the problems that have been created through these initiation rituals they are horrible they are barbaric they should not be done in this day and age but they are not going to be able to see that they're going to see it as oh you're taking my freedom which like i get it would fucking suck like i'm not sitting here acting like a 7 p.m curfew what along with them taking your phones all day where you have it for one hour a day that would be bloody annoying i would be pissed but you gotta use your rational thinking and think about who the, your anger should be put towards if anything it should be put towards yourselves by continuing these traditions but yeah like i said though absolutely fantastic episode with all the drama that's been set up i am scared for willa scared for his anxiety issues i'm scared that this will all be a little bit too much for him but i hope that simon is there to back him up help him out with everything keep him sane same way i hope that wilhelm is there to help simon with transitioning into this life of having to be a little bit more aware of how you behave socially and on social media and everything when it comes to your image because i know that that's not what a lot of people think about because they're just an everyday average person they're not going to care about what like the media thinks because no one's really paying attention to them but now that you're with the crown prince of the country you're going to have a lot of eyes on you so you got to be more careful with stuff which i know sucks but again i just hope that they can be there for each other you know but yes ah, oh, one episode down five to go I'm going to be doing these weekly, if that wasn't clear by how I usually do things. <laughs> but I'm getting a lot better with my YouTube uploads. I found a system that really works. I do live stream on Twitch a lot, and we actually do, like, editing streams. So if you want to come along, watch me edit a YouTube video, talk about the episode, that's usually my favorite thing to do with chat. Just sit there and discuss the episode that I'm editing, because it can just be really fun to have a recap and actually talk about it with people, you know? So if that does interest you, a link to my Twitch will be down below. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'm really excited for the rest of the season and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.